So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with a magic loop. So magic loop is really um, great for sock knitting or mitten, knitting mittens or sleeves or anything like that. This does, I'm knitting socks now, so I'm going to show you how to get started doing the magic loop technique. So for magic loop, you need a long circular needle. So I tend to use an 80 centimeter long circular needle. Uh, you can use 60 centimeter, but I find 80 centimeter works best. So I've cast on 60 stitches, which is what which is what I want for my sock, and then I pull them onto the cable. So don't leave them on the needle tip. Pull all the stitches onto the cable, and then you want to find the middle. So I'm going to count to two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty. Count to thirty. Then I fold the cable like that and then I pull up a loop and then what I tend to advise people to do to start with is to just push both sets of stitches onto a needle tip so half the stitches go onto one needle tip the other half go onto the other needle tip now depending on what cast the method you use you'll either have the tail and the working yarn on one end or you'll have the tail on one end and the working yarn on the other end. I did the long tail cast on, so I got the tail and the working yarn on the same end. Uh, if you did the knit of the cable cast on, for example, your tail will be here. It doesn't really matter. You want to look at the end where you have the working yarn. That's what matters. So first, I'm going to just make sure I'm not twisted. So I tend to rearrange my stitches so that the um, cast on edge is facing each other. So I can just go around here, make sure it's not twisted. Then I pinch it like that, so I'm holding the needle with the, with the either with the tail or with nothing on top. And then I just pinch them like that. And then the needle with the working yarn, which is the one I'm holding on the bottom, with the needle with the working yarn, I want to pull that needle forward so the way it's pointing, forward so those stitches slide onto the cable and around. And then I'm going to knit. So I tend to, um, it's really important to get a neat join and there's various ways you can do that. I find the easiest way is just to knit two stitches like that. You can put a marker on before you knit those two stitches if you prefer. Then pull the needle, just pull that right hand needle with the two stitches and can you see what's happening as I'm pulling that needle? Those two stitches pop around the other side with the other stitches, the other half of the stitches. And it stops this bit being pulled apart where I'm joining. Um, doesn't matter so much on the other side, but it's particularly where you join the round where you can tend to get a bit of a um, loose stitch. So I'm going to um, knit the rest of this row. So I'm going to do knit two, purl two. Because so I've done the knit two and I've got to do purl two. Knit two. So I knit continental style with Norwegian purl. Oops. So it's difficult to do the first row quickly. Um, and it's even more difficult when you sit with your arms around a tripod. Um, and it's a little bit wobbly, so I'm a bit worried about knocking it over. So just bear with me. Normally I'd knit a little bit quicker than this, but oops. Right. Drop the stitch there and then I split it. So let me just fix that again. Pull one, pull two. Oh, um, not concentrating very well here. I keep trying to knit up pull two many. So pull two and I'm going to end with a knit two. Okay, so when I get to the end of that needle, the stitches I'm going to knit next are the stitches that are on the cable. So the way I prefer to do it is that I move the stitches over in my left hand and I kind of flip them over. So the needle tip that I've just knitted onto is pointing towards the right. And then I push the stitches uh, that are on the cable onto the empty needle tip. Those are the stitches I'm going to knit next. The stitches where the working yarn is... Those are the stitches I've just knitted and they need to slide onto the cable. So I'm going to pull the needle with the working yarn. So that's the needle, that's where the working yarn is coming from. Pull that needle 
till the stitches slide onto the cable. Then I just pull it enough so I got like a roughly the same size loop either side. I don't want to have like no loop one side and a massive loop the other side. I want it to be roughly the same. Okay, and then I'm going to knit the stitches. So I finished with the knit two, so I'm going to start with the purl two here. Now I quite often rearrange my stitches so that I actually start each needle with the knit two. Um, but on this round, I'm actually starting with the pearl too. But it's a good idea if you start both needles with the same stitch. So either start with a knit two or a pearl two. I'm just going to knit to the end of this needle and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when I get to the beginning of the round. Now, I didn't put a marker in because I know it's two stitches from the end of this needle. You can put a marker in if you prefer. It's entirely up to you. I probably would have put a marker in for this demo if I had remembered to pick up a marker before I turned my camera up. But I didn't. So now that's the end of the round. So you can see if I pull on that, how it kind of pulls apart again bit right it was sunny when i started filming and then it went cloudy so it kind of went a bit darker so i apologize for that but you can see how that's pulling apart so that's um that would be worse if that was here at the between the two needles so i'm going to now if you get to this point and you find that your stitches are twisted so if you find that you got something like this going on where it's twisted all you need to do usually is just move your needle under one way or the other, just got to work out which way is twisted and then you can easily untwist them. So now I'm going to knit those two and then I'll show you how to turn again. So I leave those two stitches there um, till I've done probably about five or six rounds and when I get to the point where I want to move those two stitches back again, I knit to the last two stitches, I knit to where my tail is, so you can see that's where my tail is and then I pull that needle so those stitches slide all the way around needle back to here, okay? I'm not going to do that now because I won't actually leave them there uh, for now. But after about six rounds or so, I will move those two stitches back to there. Okay, so I finished that needle. So those stitches are the ones I've just finished. So I uh, flick my needles over so they're pointing. My, the needle I've just finished, instead of pointing that way, it points to the right. And then I just pull that cable back. I slide the stitches that were on the cable onto the empty needle tip. Hold the needles the way I'm going to do when I start knitting. So the bottom needle, the way I'm holding it now, the bottom needle, the one with the working yarn, is the one I'm going to knit with. Those are the stitches I've just knitted. So I pull that needle so those stitches slide onto the cable like that. And then I pull out enough of a loop so I can start knitting with it. 